Body and Mind Method is the second level of Qi Liao Qi Gong. It harmonizes the body and mind. Practice this method can lift tendons, loosen joints, beautify body, open meridians, strengthen body, and develop intellect. Body and mind method begins. Put feet together and tie body centered. Hands relax naturally. Look straight forward. Slowly withdraw vision inward. Gently close eyelids and tie body relax. Head touches sky. Feet stand on earth. Body relaxes. Mind expands. Be respectful and quiet. Mind is clear and appearance humble. No distracting thoughts. Think space. Think body. Entire body is harmonized with qi. Harmonized with qi. Begin to practice. Rotate palms backward. Press earth to collect qi. Push, pull, push, pull, pull. Relax wrists, turn palms, hold chi outward to navel level, deliver chi to navel. Turn palms down, circle hands to both sides. Continue to move to the back. Point to Ming Man. Move hands upward. Under arms, deliver Qi into Da Bao. Extend hands forward. With palms up. To shoulder level and width, point to Yin Tang. Circle arms slowly to both sides, forming a straight line. Turn palms down. And then up, raise hands upward to above head. Put hands together. Lower hands in front of face. 
to the chest level in praying position. Separate hands around the ribs to rest on waist. Claims neck, dragon's head, claims neck, tuck in chin, tilt head, lift chin upward, forward, downward, inward. Along chest, lift neck vertebrae, tilt head, Lift chin upward, forward, downward, inward. Along chest, lift neck vertebrae. Tilt head, lift chin upward, forward, downward, inward. Along chest, lift neck vertebrae. Tilt head, lift chin upward, forward, Downward, inward. Along chest, lift neck vertebrae. Tilt head, lift chin upward, forward, downward, inward. Along chest, lift neck vertebrae. Opposite crane's neck. Along chest, move chin downward, forward, upward. Tilt head, raise head. Tuck in chin. Along chest, move chin downward, forward, upward, tilt head, raise head, tuck in chin. Along chest, move chin downward, forward, upward, tilt head, raise head, tuck in chin. Along chest, move chin downward, forward, upward, tilt head, raise head, tuck in chin. Along chest, move chin downward, forward, upward, tilt head, raise head, tuck in chin. Along chest, move chin downward, forward, upward, tilt head, raise head, tuck in chin. Head upright, dragon's head, left dragon's head, turn to left, left push up to draw circle. Right dragon's head, turn to right. Right push up to draw circle. Left dragon's head turn to left. Left push up to draw circle. Right dragon's head turn to right. Right push up to draw circle. Left dragon's head turn to left. Left push up to draw circle. Right dragon's head turn to right. Right push up to draw circle. Left dragon's head turn to left. Left push up to draw circle. Right dragon's head turn to right. Right push up to draw circle. Body centered. Release hands. Turn palms upward. Stretch arms forward. Raise upper arms to shoulder level. Circle arms around to both sides. Turn palms outward. Lower forearms to form a straight line. Forearms up, down, up, down, up, down. Rotate wrists forward. One, two, three. Backward. One. Two, three. Squeeze shoulder blades. Shrink neck. Open shoulders. Relax neck. Squeeze shoulder blades. Shrink neck. Open shoulders. Relax neck. Squeeze shoulder blades. Shrink neck. Open shoulders. Relax neck. Open arms. One. Two, three. Stretch arms at shoulder level. Erect palms. Push palms outward. Shoulder blades squeeze inward. Push outward. Squeeze inward. Push outward. 
squeeze inward, push outward, hold hands, separate fingers, open thumb a little fingers, open index and ring fingers, push palms outward, close index and ring fingers, close thumb and little fingers, open, open, push outward, close, close, open. Open, push outward, close, close. Claw hands, relax wrists, curl fingers and palms like a hook. Fingertips touch, gather towards centers of palms. Erect wrists, extend fingers one joint at a time. Relax wrists, curl fingers and palm like a hook. Fingertips touch, gather towards centers of palms. Erect wrists, extend fingers one joint at a time. Relax wrists, curl fingers and palm like a hook. Fingertips touch, gather towards centers of palms. Erect wrists, extend fingers one joint at a time. Lower palms, open arms one. Two, three. Stretch arms at shoulder level. Lower hands from both sides. Raise hands in front of chest in praying hand position. Chi Yi thrust. Cross fingers. Raise hands upward in front of forehead. Turn palms upward to form a circle. Turn left to the left side. Right thrust, turn right to the right side. Left thrust, turn left to the left side. Right thrust, turn right to the right side. Left thrust, turn left to the left side. Right thrust, turn right to the right side. Left thrust to the front. Stretch palms upward. Rotate wrist one, two, three. Separate hands, palms facing forward, arms touching ears. Tilt head forward. Bend body, curl downward. Neck vertebrae down. Thoracic vertebrae down. Lumbar vertebrae down. Hands in front of feet. Press one, two, three. Turn left to the left. Press one, two, three. Turn right to the right. Press one, two, three. Body to the front. Scoop chi backward to the back. Hold Achilles tendons. Head touching legs. One, two, three. Scoop chi to the front. Arms touching ears. Slowly move up. Lumbar vertebrae up. Thoracic vertebrae up. Neck vertebrae up. Hands reaching above head. Move freely. Second time. Neck vertebrae down. Thoracic vertebrae down, lumbar vertebrae down, hands in front of feet. Press one, two, three. Turn left to the left. Press one, two, three. Turn right to the right. Press one, two, three. Body to the front, scoop chi backward to the back, hold Achilles tendons, head touching legs. One, two, three. Scoop chi to the front, arms touching ears. Slowly move up, lumbar vertebrae up, thoracic vertebrae up, neck vertebrae up, hands reaching above head. Move freely. Turn palms to face each other. Scoop chi downward, in front of face to the chest. 
along the ribs, separate hands to rest on waist. Separate feet by stepping on chi to shoulder width. Squat down slightly, turn left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move tailbone. Tuck forward, raise backward. 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 Tailbone upright, straighten body, open front quad. Turn feet outward to form a straight line. Release hands, turn palms upward. Stretch arms forward. Raise upper arms in front of forehead. Turn palms outward. Circle arms to both sides. Lower forearms to form a straight line. Open arms. One, two, three. Stretch arms at shoulder level. Squat down. Lower arms. Circle hands in front of knees. Raise to the chest level in praying position. Turn to left. One, two, three. Turn right. One, two, three. Raise head. Straighten body. Raise hands to Yin Tang. Turn palms outward. Circle arms to both sides. Lower forearms to form straight line. Open arms. One, two, three. Stretch arms at shoulder level. Squat down. Lower arms. Circle hands in front of knees. Raise to the chest level in praying position. Turn to left. One, two, three. Turn right. One, two, three. Raise head, straighten body. Hands in front of chest. Open back quad. Turn left toes inward. Turn right heel outward. Straighten legs. Arms stretch forward to embrace. Body lean forward. Raise head. Tuck in chin. Straighten body. Bend knees inward. Raise arms in a circular motion. Extend to both sides. Palms upward as if holding objects. Tilt head to observe sky. Tuck in chin. Embrace forward. Lean back to observe sky.
Raise head, straighten body. Raise hands upward to get the chi. Move downward, in front of face, to the chest. Along the ribs, separate hands to rest on waist. Step on chi to close feet. Kneeling on top of feet, body centered. Relax body. Relax chest. Relax abdomen. Kneel down. Kneel down to the limit. Raise thighs to form a straight line. Leaning backward. Tuck in chin. Raise head. Relax body. Raise by weight. Slowly straighten body. Entire body relax. Spring leg flex foot. Shift waist to the right. Raise left leg. Thighs horizontal. Calf hands naturally. Flex foot up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Turn inward. One, two, three. Turn outward. One, two, three. Left leg springs out diagonally. Straighten leg. Flex foot up. Stretch heel. Point toes. Up. Stretch. Point up, stretch, point. Turn inward one, two, three. Turn outward one, two, three. Tuck in toes. Withdraw calf. Return to the ground. Shift waist to the left. Raise right leg. Thighs horizontal. Calf hands naturally, flex foot up, down, up, down, up, down. Turn inward one, two, three. Turn outward one, two, three. Right leg springs out diagonally. Straighten leg, flex foot up, stretch heel, point toes, up, stretch, point, up, stretch, point. Turn inward one, two, three. Turn outward one, two, three. Tuck in toes. Withdraw calf. Return to the ground. Release hands to hold a ball in front of abdomen. Raise hands in front of head. Turn left. Down to the left. Down. Down to the knees. Up from the right. Up. Up to above head. Down to the left. Down. Down to the knees, up from the right, up, up to above head, down to the left, down, down to the knees, up from the right, up, up to above head, turn right, down to the right, down, down to the knees, up from the left, up, up to above head, down to the right, down. Down to the knees, up from the left, up, up to above head, down to the right, down, down to the knees, up from the left, up, up to above head, raise hands to above head, cramps neck, 
One, two, three. Open head. Down. Close. Open. Up. Close. Open. Down, close, open, up, close, open, down, close, open, up, close, open. Scoop chi. To pour chi into head, lower hands in front of face to the chest, turn palms inward, down to abdomen, in front of thighs, direct hands down, pass knees, move down, put hands on top of feet, press down, move up, down, up. Down, up. Turn palms, extract chi. Direct hands along inner legs, move upward. Along knee to the thighs. Along abdomen to chest. Turn palms forward. Put hands in front of shoulders. Push right hand forward until almost straight. Relax, wrist, turn palm. Turn left to scoop chi. At 90 degree, press chung kui. Circle hand around shoulder. Press chi hu. Push left hand forward until almost straight. Relax, wrist, turn palm. Turn right to scoop chi. At 90 degree, press chung kui. Circle hand around shoulder. Press Chi Hu. Hum quietly three times. Inhale. 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 Release fingers. Push hands forward. Turn to a lotus palm, close hands in praying position. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Raise hands in front of nose, open. Close, open, close, open, close. Raise hands to Yin Tang. Open, close, open, close, open. Close. Raise hands to forehead. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Raise hands to by way. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Put hands together. Move upward. Lift further. Separate hands. Turn palms forward. Lower arms to both sides, forming a straight line. 
turn palms up, circle arms forward. To shoulder width, illuminate in turn. Drop elbows, withdraw arms to underarms, porchy into dabao. Stretch hands backward. Circle hands to both sides. Turn palms. Move. Arms forward to embrace chi. Collect chi into lower dantian. Place hands in front of navel. Massage counterclockwise from small to large. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, clockwise. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place hands upon navel. Nourish chi. We turn hands to the sides. Slowly open eyes, and put a big smile on your face. Hi, I'm Luke Chen. Today, I will show you the body and mind method of qi liao qi gong or zhi neng qi gong. Now, the beginning of the body and mind method is just like the lift qi up and pull qi down. First, put your feet together. Your head touch blue sky. Your feet into the earth. Relax your chest and your uh, stomach, entire body, just relax. Hands relax next to your thighs. At the beginning, rotate palms backward and then down. Push forward, pull back. Three times, push forward. Pull back. Make sure your hands next to your thighs. Push forward. You can think the blue sky. And then pull back. Think body. Then relax, wrist, turn palms. Hold chi upward. Slowly to navel level. Now the middle finger point to navel, deliver chi to your lower dantian. Now make sure it's at navel level, not too high or too low, just in the middle. Then turn palms down. Now slowly circle around along the blue skies at waist level to both sides, forming a straight line. Then continue to move to the back Point to Ming Man, deliver Qi to your Ming Man, your lower Dantian area, and then move hands up, deliver Qi into Da Bao. Now you can imagine your know, fingers touching inside, fingers hip to touch, and then extend hands forward with palms up to shoulder level and width. The middle finger point to Yin Tang, Yin Tang is between your eyebrows. Deliver chi inside, then circle around slowly. Imagine hand touch the blue sky to both sides, forming a straight line. Then use your little finger go first, turn palms down, and then scoop chi up. As soon as you move your hands, think 
pouring chi from the blue sky into your body. Two above head, put hands together. Then lower hands in front of your face to the chest in praying position. Now in praying position, now from here, the second level uh, is different from the lift you up and pull you down. So slowly move your hands along the ribs, separate hands, and put hands upon your hips. Now the thumb just touch the last rib of your rib cage, the last rib. And remember your body is like hugging somebody, not lean forward like this, hugging somebody. Now let me uh, uh, have a slower uh, motion for that uh, particular motion, the separate hands. In praying position, now slowly open your hands, separate your hands, and then along the rib cage, turn palms and, and put hands on your body. Now the first session is called a uh, crane snack, dragon's head. The crane snack, first tuck in your chin, two head, move chin upward, forward, downward, inward. Two head, move chin upward, forward, downward, inward. The key is to uh, create a circle with your chin. Uh, if you look straight forward, with you use, use your, uh, your hand, you put your chin, just push it in, and then to your head. So have a circle with your chin. Now the opposite uh, claim snack is to create the same circle, but in opposite way. So you first tuck in your chin, move chin downward, forward, upward, Raise by way, tuck in chin. Now that's the raise by way, tuck in chin is the key of this movement. So tuck in chin, move chin forward, upward. Now raise by way, or raise your head, tuck in the chin. Then create a circle. Now let's uh, uh, do it from the side and see it. Now tuck in the chin, till head, move chin upward, Forward, downward, inward. Along chest, lift chin upward, to your head. And then, now the opposite, just move the chin downward, forward, upward, to your head, raise by way, tuck in chin. And then move chin downward. Now you can do it uh, at least three times. The more, the better. It's very good for your brain when you're doing this. And then of course the neck, the each vertebrae of your neck is m moving. So it's uh, uh, very effective in healing uh, 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 different disease in your neck. Now we're going to uh, do the dragon's head. The dra dragon's head is just on the top. This is the dragon's head. We call it dragon's head on, on the uh, top of your head. And then you moved to your left, left push up to draw a circle, tilt to the right, push up to draw a circle, shift to your left, push up to draw a circle, tilt to the right, push up to draw a circle. Now the key is to, to push up to create a figure eight motion with your head or infinity sign or the Mickey Mouse, the ears. Now it's not like this, it's a no, no, <laughs> it's no, no. So we have a pushing motion. Now when do you know that it's uh, doing right? When you feel some strain, when you feel something in your head pushing up, 
then you you know that the chi arrive to the top of the head. Now this one is very good uh, for the head to do nutrition to your head, to your brain. Because from the bottom of your feet going up, that just that movement is very good. And and again, uh, it takes some time before you feel anything to feel the right movement. Okay, so we're gonna uh, continue to the second session now. Now this sequence is called squeeze shoulder blades, strength neck, relax hands, move hands forward 90 degree, and then raise 90 degree. Now this one is 90 degree, it's 90 degree. It's open to both sides, still forming 90 degree. Turn palms out, and then lower forming straight line three times. Now make sure that uh, your elbow here is uh, relaxed, uh, pointing to the ground. So going up, down, not like this. Your elbow has to be down on this, uh, on the, uh, towards the ground. Now let me demonstrate again. Up, down. Uh, working on the elbow, now we were on the wrist. It's turn in, inward one, two, three. Turn our one. Now the palms always uh, towards the ground. Now let me uh, make sure that you can see it here. Uh, so the palms always facing the ground. So create a circle with your middle fingers and turning the waist. One, two, three, and turn the other way, it's just the same. Uh, here is uh, exercise your wrist of your body. So from all the sides here, we'll be turning like this, turning like that. Now the next movement is called squeeze shoulder blade, shrink neck. So you squeeze in, like a bird trying to fly, open, Squeeze in, or like you're taking a cold shower. Open. Now what does uh, shoulder blade squeeze in, and your neck shrink inside, and your tailbone going in towards the, uh, and then your shoulder going in towards your third thoracic vertebrae, towards that point. And then open. Now this movement is very good for your heart and your lungs. And now you can do it at least three times or more to do this uh, movement. And uh, the next movement is called open arms. It's open like this. Move one, squeeze one open. Squeeze open. Now this movement designed to open, to loosen your arms from fingertips to fingertips. Now let me, let me demonstrate from the uh, back of the side. The shoulders is one squeeze, one open, one squeeze, one open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open. So the more you can do, the better. So this is the, uh, moving up your, uh, your whole upper body. Okay, now we're going to proceed to another sequence. Okay, the next movement, after the open arms, the erect fingers, squeeze in shoulder blades, open, push your arm uh, forward to both sides, squeeze your shoulder blades, open. Now let me show you from the, uh, the back. Squeeze in shoulder blades, push outward from the both sides, squeeze, open, squeeze, open. So do it at least three times. The more the better. Now, and then the second, uh, the next movement will be open the fingers. Open some little fingers, 
open and then push outward, close, close the thumb and little fingers. Now let us uh, take uh, closing up with uh, uh, the open the fingers. So first separate the thumb and little fingers, separate the second and four fingers. So the distance is more or less equal and then push out, close, close, open, open, and you push out, close, close. Now let us look at it from the wider angle. Open, open, push outward, close, close. And then doing the claw hands, relax wrist, fingers, claw, like claw, going up, fingertips touch, gather towards centers of palms, and then erect fingers, one joint at a time. Relax fingers, fingertips touch towards centers of palm. Erect fingers, one joint at a time. Now let's uh, look at uh, closing up. Now this one is when you relax your hands, curl fingers like a hook, fingertips touch. Gather towards center of the palm. Now, if you think it's 45 degrees, it's 90 degrees, not right? It's 45 degrees, more or less. That means you're thinking that the fingertips towards the center of your palm. And then erect fingers, one joint at a time. Relax fingers, crawl fingers like a hook, fingertips touch towards center of the palm, and then erect fingers one joint at a time. Now let's do it from the both side again. Then relax wrist, claw hands like hook, fingertips touch, towards center of palm, erect fingers, one joint at a time. Now put your hands down, open arms again, one, two, three. Then lower hands, Put hands in front of your chest in praying position. The next section is called Yi Chi Thrust. It's very good for the internal organs. Put your hands together in praying position Slowly cross your hand, cross your hands in front of your forehead. Turn to your left, right thrust. Turn to your right, left thrust. Turn to your left, right thrust. Turn to your right, left thrust. Now, the, uh, there's two, two things involved here. The first thing is the circle, the hands or your circle. Now this one is the farthest way from your body, the hands. And then when you, if, when you turn to your body, to the side, that's what, about one fist from your forehead. The, the hands always in front of your forehead. So when you turn, this one is farthest from you. And then you're closing in. This one is one, about one fist from your forehead. It's closest to your body. Turn, farthest away from your body closes, so the circle with your hands. The second thing is the, uh, the thrust. So let's work on the thrust. Now you turn to your right, the thrust turning to your left, thrust, thrust. So that's how you are on your, your, your movement with, from your body, going up from the Dantian Chi, from body going up we're going up. Now, when we put it together with the hands, the circle, and uh, the thrust will be turning, turn the circle. Now again, it takes some time before you, you actually can uh, feel the chi and then the turning the right movement. Now, so move the hand up like this. 
And then we'll continue uh, for the next session. Now, we'll work on bend body, arch back, to loosen through mind. The first thing is to lift up your body by creating circle with your wrist. With your wrist going up, create a circle, reach up to the top, and then after you move about three times, and then turn palm forward with your, uh, uh, your, your elbows close to your head, not too far from it, no, close to your head, and then bend body, arch back, one, vertebr one vertebra at a time, moving down. In front of your uh, the feet, and then one, two, three. The purpose here is not whether you touch the ground or not, but whether you can move your waist here, the vertebrae, one at a time. You move the vertebrae, one, two, and then turn to your left, one, two, three. Turn to the right, one, two, three, and then to the front, scoop chi, the hands touch accurate, then put your body close to your thighs, and again, pay attention to your back here. Here's moving, the main one area is moving. One, two, three, and then scoop chi to the front, move up, one vertebra at a time. Going up, move freely. Okay, now let's demonstrate for the, the other side. Going up. Now make sure your, your, your arms next to your ears, hands facing forward. Then when you're going down, pay attention to your vertebr vertebrae one at a time, curl down. Relax, entire body. Going down, now in front of your, your hands, and again, the purpose is moving your back here. Moving your back here, so loosen to my, that means your back here, the meridians. So use the, the waist here to moving. One, two, three. So turn to your left. One, two, three. Turn to your right. One, two, three, to the front, scoop chi to the back. Again, your head and the thigh press together. And again, pay attention to here. One, two, three. And then scoop chi to the front. Now again, going up slowly, the first uh, lumbar vertebrae up, one at a time. Thoracic vertebrae, neck vertebrae, to above head, move freely. So this one is, not, is the body is curling, just like one knuckle at a time. The back is curled down. It's not just going down, up and lying like this. That's incorrect. So pay attention to your back. It's very good for your spine very good for the spine. So once you're going up like this, and again, going up, and then you turn palms to face each other. Slowly scoop down in front of your face, and then, then place hands on your ribs. And then we will move on to the next session. Now this session we call turn waist move qua, chi return to dantian. Now this is very good for your lower region area. 
The first thing we need to do is step on chi, step on chi, your feet, flat it on the ground, and then turn. Now this one is about 90 degree or shoulder width, or a little bit wider than the shoulder. And then you slow, slowly squat down, very little squat down. Make sure your knees not pass through your toes. And then turn, turn to your left. About th at least three times or nine times, the more the better, and then turn to your right. Now, what's turning is your tailbone is tucked in, and then to your left, to the back, to the right, to the front. Now, make sure your knees will not move along like this. <laughs> this is incorrect. So more or less, you flat it on the ground, uh, the, the knees are uh, pretty much fixed, just move slightly, and then the, the purpose is uh, to move your, your pelvic region here. It's turning, it's turning uh, your pelvic region. So move it like this, create a circle with your tailbone. Turning, so turn to one side, now the first, you might create about four points, the front, and then turn to your left, the back, right. And then you turn to the right, it's just the same, turn to just different directions. By doing this, and you create chi, you store chi in your low dantian area. It's move this. So the more, the better. If you can do it more, the better. Turning. And again, and then tuck in tailbone, raise back, tuck in, raise back, tuck in. Now let me demonstrate from the side for this one. Tuck in, when you think you are tuck in the most, and then tuck in even more. Swing back or raise your back. When you think you cannot go further, Go a little further until your back here has a sore feeling. So tuck in, raise back, tuck in. Now make sure uh, when you tuck in, don't squeeze your muscles. Just use your mind to uh, uh, make your tailbone coming up. Going back, move in. So this one is, and again, it's very good for your, uh, your lower region, uh, uh, the illnesses. And uh, so if you can practice for a long time, it's, you store a lot of chi in your Dantian area. And again, uh, we will move on to the next uh, session. Open front and back quad. The front quad, we mean the socket joints. The back quad means the SI joints, where the, the spine and the uh, pelvic bone uh, meet. That's the joints. Okay, so if you move your left leg outward, forming a straight line, if you can, and release your hands forward, raise up. To the forehead, turn palms outward. Circle around to both sides. And do open arms. Now again, when you're doing this, the difference between this one and the previous one would be your hips move slightly, move slightly, but not moving like this. Your hip moves slightly. Let me do it again. So you turn slightly, of course, three times, and after that, Slowly squat down, you open your feet going down, your hands slowly going down in front of your knees until, if you can, it's 90 degree, uh, your feet to so open up uh, uh, both sides in praying position, and then turn, circle. With your wrist, create three circles to one side, and then 
turn the other side three times, and then raise by weight. Straighten body, hands in front of forehead, turn palms. Again, open up, do it two times, and then going down and again, open in front, three times, one, two, three. Then turn, and then move up. Now when you move up, imagine some, something pulling up, pulling up by way, raised by way, pulling up. Now this one is called open front core because literally you open up here to loosen up your front core. The front core is here, loosening up so that the chi can go through from bottom of your feet, can go through your internal organs to your, your hair. So it's important that uh, let it loosen up so the chi and blood can go through. Now the second one, we go open the back core. So turn inward, and the heel is going outward, and uh, the, the, if they can, almost straight line if you can, and uh, with the heel out, and then move your hands up like this. Now make sure that uh, this one, the, the hands about one fist, and then the, the, the thumb and middle fingers just directly in front of your forehead. But here, uh, the main purpose is here is open this one up. In other words, uh, uh, this one is the, the legs, straight, straight legs, and then your, your main one going inward. Okay, and then the next one, bend knee, open up to observe sky. Now here is most important, tuck in your chin, not going up like this. You need to tuck in chin like you observe sky and then the hands as you're holding an object. And again, here is open up your uh, joints. Okay, now, go forward. Open backward. Now you can stand there, standing for a long time. Now let me demonstrate from the side. And brace forward. And again here, uh, the legs straighten up. Here the main one area, you should have a sore feeling that your body is about 15% going forward, lean forward. But you tuck in your, uh, the area here until you have a sore feeling. And then bend knee, move upward, observe sky. Again, open up the core here, the back core here. And then strengthen body, move hands upward. So from this side, let me do it from this side. So how do we do this? Going up. Embrace, and then going down, and then we go in close the legs, slowly step on chi. That's called open front and back qua. And again, when we open uh, the, the qua, the chi can go through from bottom of the feet, going up through your body here. And then it's the whole body is connected. So it's very loose, very important that we have to loosen the lower part of our body. And then we're going to proceed to another sequence of the body and mind method. This sequence is kneeling down on top of feet to join, to connect the three joints. Now you fit together, entire body relax. And relax your head, relax your chest. And it's important that your, your body here is relaxed. And it fits on the ground. And then 
what you need to do is just relax your knees, just kneeling down, just kneel down to the floor. Now here, uh, one thing is your body is lean for, uh, is going backward and about 15 degree. And then your body here, like you embrace somebody or hug somebody. So here is a curve in, not like this. It's curved in like that. So your back is round. And then your by way, tuck in your chin, your by way is raised, like somebody pulling up, by way raised. And then your whole body is connected. Now the three joints means the ankle, the knee, then the hip joints. The purpose of this, we will store chi in your knees and then strengthen your knees. And this one, you can stand there, just one motion, you just, or motionless, you just stand there for a long period of time. And then when you're ready to go up, and then think, raise by weight, think somebody pulling up from the top, pulling up, slowly going up, slowly going up. Now how do you know that you're doing right? Now when you feel, when you're going up, when you feel the chi from your knee, just like the dam open up, the water rushing down. So from the knee going down to the bottom of your feet. Now let me demonstrate from the other side. So again, your body is going to embrace somebody, your, uh, your elbows facing forward, uh, relax your feet, brace by way, and then when you are all relaxing, and then just kneel down. And again, your body is, about, is leaning backward, but your head is, uh, is straight. That means like somebody pulling up, and your body is embracing, your back is round, like you're embracing somebody. So your body is straight. It's not like this. So you need to be straight. And then raise by weight. That means imagine somebody pulling up, pulling up upward, slowly going upward. And then you should have some feeling uh, in your knees going down to the bottom of your feet. So this one is uh, uh, very simple, yet uh, you need to practice it in order to get the essence of this uh, movement. So we're going to move on to the next sequence. This one is called spring leg flex foot to draw Tai Chi. So fit together, now shift your weight to your right, and then slowly move your left leg until it's 90 degree, flex foot up, down, up, down, three times, okay, up, down. Turn inward, one, Imagine that uh, uh, your toes have a silk in it. So you're very delicate when you're turning, very delicate, and then turn to your left. One, two. Now in sense what you're doing is, is relaxing and then turning your ankles. At this point in time, when you spring your leg out, here is flat. The one is flat, so spring out, diagonally on the 15 degree, 45 degree of your body. And then you flex your foot up first, and then flex the heels, stretch all the heel up, down, up, uh, outward. And then the toe pointing downward, up, stretch, point, up, stretch, point, very slowly. And then turn inward, remember, like uh, your toes holding a silk. Turning very gently and evenly, turning. And then turn the other way, very slowly and gently. Turning. And then after that, tuck in your toes and move back. And then return to the ground. So shift way to your left. Slowly doing the same thing to your right, 
90 degree, flex up, down, up, down, up slowly, down, turn inward, one, two, three, turn outward, and again, slowly and evenly, as if your toe has a seal in it, and again, when you spring out, 45 degree, stretch up, stretch your heel, down, up, stretch, down, up, stretch, down, and turn, turn inward, one, two, three, turn outward, one, imagine your, a silk in your toe, and then tuck in, slowly, back to the front. Now this one is working on your toes. The toes is farthest away from your, your body. So when you move the toes, the artery, you're working on the, uh, uh, the joints, the hard to reach area. And then the chi and blood can go through. And it's uh, uh, very good uh, for your entire body with your chi throwing. And of course, the chi throwing, all the illnesses disappear. And uh, okay, let's uh, proceed to the, the last sequence. Okay, the last uh, closing is fit together, entire body relax. Now release your hands forward as holding a chi ball up and then to your left, going down in front of your knee, going up three times, going down in front of your knees, going up. One more time going down, up, and turn to your right, going down, going up, going down, do it three times. Harmonious your chi within the entire body, going up, to above head, now we're going to do uh, the crane's neck three times. One, two, three. Again, this three times is a little bit faster than the beginning. And uh, the next one we call open thing, where we close your hands, almost touch, but don't touch it and then open to your ears, pretty much at ear position, but the ear position. Going up again, almost touch, but don't touch. Open, the position here is pretty much above your head, don't open too wide, just above. Close, three times, closing, open, down, close, open, <laughs> close, and then open. Now, open the entire body, scoop chi to the top of your head. Now, when you're going down, with the going down to the bottom of your feet, going down in front of your face to the chest, going down to your thighs, the hands in front of your feet, going down on top of feet, tuck in your chin, put hands on top of your feet, your body and thighs together, press down, up, three times, going down, up, down, up. Whole body posture, and then turn hands, scoop chi into inner legs, slowly going up. Thighs, knees, going to the thigh. And then abdomen, continue to move up to your chest. Then gradually turn palms forward, with palms facing forward. 
push right hand forward until almost straight. Relax, wrist, turn palm. Then scoop chi to your left. 90 degree, the thumb press chung kui. And of course the thumb press the middle finger there. Circle around the shoulder and then press chi fu. Move your left hand forward. Think the blue sky going out. Relax, wrist, turn palm. Scoop chi to your right. 90 degrees of thumb press chung kui. Circle around body and press right shoulder chi fu. Breathe in, slightly touch. When you're going out, you say a word called tong, tong. Breathe in, tong. And again, the sound is, uh, you can listen to your own sound, the tone, but not uh, loud enough for other people to hear. So the, the tone uh, in Chinese means uh, open up, uh, uninterrupted, uh, within your body. So the sound itself is, is vibrating inside. So you don't need to know the meaning in order to, to get the effect. So to then push hands forward in front of your body. Now we're going to do some open and close in front of your body. Open, close. Now when you close, your hands not touching. Open, close. After three times, now when you open it up, it's at your nipple uh, uh, distance, not too far or too little. That's the farthest you can go is, is that area. So after you three times in the middle, going up to your nose, open, now the nose distance with your cheekbones. Close, open. Now again, don't touch your hands. Your elbows going out, not drop like this. Uh, going out, open, close. After three times, you go to yin tang, between your eyebrows, open. And again, when you open, the maximum, you will open to the iris, or between. Uh, the middle of your eyes. Close. Now after three times, you go into the forehead, or called sing man. Sing man uh, is the area that's what your hair hairline uh, and your forehead meets. That's area over there. So open, close. Open, close. And then to buy weight to the top of your head. Uh, it's about one fist above your top of your head over there. It's open, close. Now don't touch it, open. Then again, the maximum open is the, the top of uh, uh, the head distance. So after three times, close your hand, move up. Lift slightly further and then turn palms forward. Now we're gonna slowly open to both sides, slowly going down, going down to both sides. You can imagine the horizon forming a straight line, then turn palms up, slowly move hands forward to shoulder level and width. The middle finger point to yin tang between the eyebrows and then lower elbows, returning hands and deliver chi into da bao. And then extend hands backward. Now remember your hands is not lower than your navel area, the navel level. Then circle around to both sides, slowly circle to both sides and then gradually turn and brace chi. And brace chi into your body. Slowly, 
slowly, remember at your navel level, gradually get the chin inside. Now in front of your body, not don't touch it, but in front of your body, uh, turn a circle from small to uh, large. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now again, it, your hands is some distance between uh, uh, your body and your hand, not touching. So it's, it's from nine onward, so uh, the clockwise will be nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then put hands upon your navel, be calm and nourish chi. And then put your hands down and put a big smile on your face. 